Let's go to question number 169, majority element. This is easy question. Let's get into it. Given an array size n, find the majority element. The majority element is the element that appears more than n divided two times. You may assume that the array is non-empty and the majority element always exists in array. So we don't need to consider two edge case. Let's check with example one. Three frequencies two, two frequencies three. So total three, three divided two is 1.5. So above the 1.5 is two, so return three. In this case, four, three, uh, four, two, and one, three. So majority is two. How we can solve it? Yes, that's right. Uh, we can use the map, but if we use the map, time complex is linear, but space complex also linear. Can you make it constant space? Yes. Uh, we can use the maps. There is one algorithm. Name is a Boyer Moore both algorithm. If we use this one, we can uh, reduce space complexity to constant. I will show you uh, implementation first, and then uh, I then explain. I will explain how it works. First, we needed to counter and candidate is none, and then I will return candidate. Okay, I will get candidate, final candidate from uh, the traverse to by via traverse uh, nums array for num in nums. So first, if count is zero, I will change candidate current value, and if candidate is same as num. Uh, I will count increase 1 otherwise decrease 1 ok finish let's check the code is it works? sure oh sorry there is some bug ok let me check count now count 0 so candidate is null Oh, there are, there are type. Okay, looks good. Okay. I will use this example and then I will show you by my hand and then count start with initialize with zero candidate initialize with none and then let's start the iteration first is here so none is here this is none and then count is zero so candidate update the none too and then if candidate is none none can do the same count is increase and then next iteration this was two counters two this one not same so decrease one and then decrease zero and now the count is zero so we, we change count to this one and then candidate is none so increase this one and then this one is the num to change so count is zero and then next time and then this one count zero candidate to update two. So count one to return two. Did it make sense? It is time it take a uh, linear time because there is one iteration and constant space because we do not use any extra data structure. Thank you.